guys, it's Foosball1918, and in this video today, we are going to be, I'm going to be teaching you how to download mods on Minecraft Computer Edition, and this is mainly for Mac, so if you don't have a Mac, I wouldn't really recommend this video for you, I am going to show just a few things with Windows, um, but you, you would probably be able to figure out the gist of it, but I would really recommend this mainly for Mac, so yeah let's get on with the video okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into safari um i if you if you have chrome i'd recommend just using safari because chrome has like these safety locks basically on the um things that we're trying to get into and don't worry nothing is like bad or anything um nothing is gonna get messed up on your computer but it's in from an unidentified developer so that does make it a little hard and math is easier with Safari. So, anyways, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type up Minecraft Forge, and this and uh, this website that I'm gonna show you will literally come up with like all the versions, so you don't have to worry about typing in the version if you don't want to. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to be doing it in this one, um, or in, that's not obvious at all. 1.12.2 because that, in my opinion, has the most mods. Sorry, I forgot to let you know. So this is the one that you want. You want my, um, HTTPS something five <laughs> slash slash files dot Minecraft Forge dot net. Um, that's the one you want. There are other ones, but like they get all screwy and messed up. So like I said, we're gonna be using 1.12.2. Um, and as you can see, I'm in 1.12.2 now whatever you're doing you want it, like your the version that you're downloading for for to be like right here so now it says down, download for minecraft forge mc 1.12.2 that's what i want so what we're gonna do you know now a lot of people are like well let's just hit download latest because obviously i want the latest version no you don't want the latest version because they will just keep updating every single time you try to do something so, what you're going to do is you're going to hit download recommended. Now, I know you're thinking Windows installer, but you said this was for Mac. No, we're going to hit installer. If you have Windows, you can also just hit installer. It's like the same thing. Um, but this is just, yeah, that's just there. So, <laughs> but, okay, so do not click on anything in this page. Anything. Don't click at all well okay i that i was a bad example because i just clicked but that was because like there was this random thing all these ads are just popping up now wait till this thing in the corner says skip and click then it downloads minecraft Forge. perfect now what you're gonna do is you're just going to um i'm just gonna drag it off like this drag it off the screen real quick and i'll close this out and put it back over here now when you click on it it says forge installer cannot be opened because it from an unidentified developer this was what i was saying for chrome it's so much harder on there so i would just do safari um <clears throat> so what you're gonna do you see this little apple logo up in the well you can close that this apple logo up in the corner just click on that and hit system preferences then what you're gonna hit is you're just gonna hit security and privacy and then you see down here it says forge 1.12.2 dollar jar has blocked from opening because it's not it because it's not an uh, identified developer now you're just gonna hit open anyways because yeah okay so here you're gonna have to get your administrator's name and password to allow it so i'm gonna just fill that out real quick you guys fill it out and i will be back once i fill that out okay guys so now it says so once you hit modify settings then you as you can see it pops up like this now you're just gonna hit open Let's just close this if job will open there we go so it's your screen should look like this <clears throat> now what you're gonna hit is you're gonna hit install client do not hit do not hit install server or ex extract um, <clears throat> sorry, I had to go for it there. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> My voice was like, not liking me today. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to see this, this. Don't do anything to that. 
don't do anything to the thing I just highlighted. Don't click anything other than install client and just hit OK. Now it will download, do all its weird stuff, and it says successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.12.2. Now, <clears throat> this, it basically connects to your Minecraft, if that makes any sense. So, now if we go into your Minecraft, what you're gonna do, we're not, uh, we'll download the mods in a second, but, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go into launch options and you're just gonna hit add new. And it's, okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this thing that says, well, this, um, latest release is what it's normally clicked on. And you're just gonna scroll all the way down until you see this thing that says, release 1.12.2 Forge. You're just gonna click on that, because that's what you want. You can name it whatever you want, I don't care. Um, let's name it, um, Jeff. Okay, so then we're, you can obviously choose whatever you want on there. Don't hit anything else. We don't need to change anything else. And just go ahead and hit save. Now, um, which you, then you're gonna go into this when it says play and just click on Jeff or whatever you named yours. And yeah, so we're just gonna click on it and just make sure that it's working fine. Um, I would recommend doing this because sometimes it doesn't work the first time. So yeah, you want it to be like looking like it's downloading things. Look at this now. Um, and then, yeah, so it's downloading fine. All oh, that's great. Um, we'll ever load, you know. So we know that it's working fine. So we're just gonna close it because yeah, we don't need it to be doing that right now because it's really slow. So, <laughs> okay. So now you're probably wondering why aren't we doing the mods yet? I want the, the mods, bro. Here are the mods. Okay, so I love this site called Minecraft Mods and um, you guys, if you want to find mods, you can basically just search up anywhere. It's really easy. Um, and just search up, like, whatever mod you want. If you have a specific one, um, I, I love the custom NPCs one. I love the, uh, Mr. Crayfish Furniture mod. And I also really like the Instant Structures mod, which is amazing. And I will show it to you in some other video because it, it is insane how cool it is. Okay, so, so now what we're gonna do, so obviously we're in on the Minecraft mods, just minecraftmods.com, pretty simple. Now, um, I have Biblecraft open, I don't, I accidentally clicked on that, that's not supposed to be open. Um, <laughs> but Biblecraft is super fun, so yeah, that'd be a good one to do. So, another one, so let's see, so you could do basically any of these, um, and I would recommend if you, there's like, it, if you hit new content, it would like take you and you can see all the new things and then you can click on 1.12.2, which I find is really helpful because it doesn't like install. There will be some that are like, oh, sorry, this is a like 1.8 version and I get, I'm like, well, seriously. Uh, but yeah, so what we're just going to go ahead and download one of these mods. So. Let's just go ahead and do, let's just go ahead and do block layering from this site. If it will load, yeah. So, <laughs> if it will load. Um, and that's really cool, by the way. I've had this one before. So you're just gonna scroll all the way down once you click on it and just hit download. And it will like sometimes take you to another page and it's a little strange, but obviously it just came right here and we're just gonna move this over here for now. Um, just move it off of your screen. That's why I have mine at like a weird angle. First of all, as you can see my face, my face isn't blocking anything, but yeah. So, okay. So there's also, so basically if you just like search up a mod, like if I would say, if you could go to the Mr. Crayfish, um, Dot com because his mods are amazing he does like a lot of furniture electronics he does like decorating stuff basically so and his there's a literally just go to mrcrayfish.com and there's just mods and mods and mods and mods trollable vehicle mod you know all of those things so we're just gonna go ahead i have the furniture mod it is amazing you need to get it because it is so cool we're just gonna go ahead and 
click on the device mod and then it will say download um i would you probably like thinking well why aren't you downloading the filter mod that's because i already have it and i don't need it but i do really 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 recommend that one to you guys okay so it will count down and it will come over here and then you're just gonna go hit well this one um, and I'm just gonna go back to his page because it takes you off of it. I think that I think that's a little weird that it just like takes you off. It's like get out, get away from this. Like if I just search up instant structures mod. Now there are like a few. There's like two. One of them is kind of hard to download. I don't recommend it. And the other one is completely insane, and I love it. So this one is the one you don't want, and it has this like little thing in the corner and it's I don't know it's just it's something that I don't recommend for you this one is the one I want you guys to get it is absolutely insane there's a soccer stadium that is massive and awesome there's like over 8,000 of them or maybe not that many but oh, there's a lot so if you just go ahead and scroll down all the way to the bottom yeah there's a lot of pictures um and then you're, you're gonna find which one you want so that's cool thing about and minecraft.net it just has all the versions that you can download it on and it doesn't matter if you click server one server two or server three i always hit server one because that seems to be always the best one well it also is saying so minecraft 1.12.2 is download is server one so like it's lined up so this would be server three server two and server one so so you just hit this and it's just gonna take you to this page and you're just gonna click download. Um, I'm not gonna hit download because I already have it, but that's how you do it. And it would just pop up in this little thingy over here. So yeah, simply like that. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, this is like a confusing part and I completely understand if you do not know what's going on in this part. Now, I'm going to make myself very clear. When you install Forge, there is a whole folder that like pops up in your there's, okay, so if you didn't know, Minecraft has like this whole section, and normally you can't see it unless you type something in. Basically, you just want to find this folder, and then it will have a mods folder because Forge automatically installs it. Now, I'm just gonna be, okay, so very clear about this. What you're gonna hit is Shift, Command, G, and this thing opens, and it says go to folder, um, little squiggly line slash library slash application space support slash minecraft i will leave this down in the description because i got stuck in this for so long and it's really annoying because i kept forgetting to put the slash between the support and minecraft but anyways i will leave this up just for a second um what you do on windows is you're just gonna hit the windows key and then r and then it's like one of it's a weird, I'll, I'll leave what you type, because you guys type something different on there. I'll leave that down in the description, so you just look down there. But like I said, Windows R. That's all you have to hit. No, like, shift or anything. Um, although some Windows computers do have shift, but yeah. Okay, like I said, I will leave these two, the Windows and this one, down in the description. So if you guys get at all confused, just go ahead and head down there, and you'll find it. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit go, and like I said, there's a secret Minecraft folder that no one knows about, well, that I didn't know about, and I'm just gonna hit mods and just double click it, because there should be a folder that's named mods. If there is not, just simply hit new folder and make it, just title it M-O-D-S, all lowercase letters. Okay, so what you just click on this, and obviously I already have stuff in it because that's my like three ultimate favorite things ever now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and drag them into it just drag them in and then just like that okay so then you're just gonna go ahead and close this it will like save um obviously i have forge up here um i'm not gonna need that but if you see this little thing um sometimes it pops up with forge you can just delete that it doesn't it's not important or anything like yeah it's nothing important it's just a bunch of weird like forge installer things um but yeah so 
Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and open Minecraft. Now, like I said, we already went into the point, but you're gonna make sure, like, we're on Jeff right now, so that's perfect. So we're just gonna hit play. Uh, actually, never mind, because it's just loaded. Okay, so now you're probably thinking, wow, this is a new screen, there's some weird things on here. You're just gonna go ahead and hit mods, and then at your mods that you have should come up in here. So I had the Mr. Craven's device mod and block layering, that's what we just downloaded. Um, and then I also already have custom NPCs, Mr. Craven's furniture mod, and instant massive structures. Now, you're just gonna hit done. Make sure that's there, because sometimes things get messed up and you just gotta like make sure it's in that mods folder like i said shift command g and that will open the library thing normally you have to have nothing else on the screen because or else it will get messed up so okay so you're just gonna hit single player like you normally would and let's just hit create new world um doesn't matter okay so um when you join it should mr crayfish has like his mod and it will show, a lot of that stuff will show up um but yeah so once you you hit e some people's there's like a whole different thing on the right side and it's like a whole mod thing mine you have you like click through now i also have his furniture mod this is what it looks like there's like chairs all that fun stuff this is what i want to show you just real quick just real quick one house that's all i want to show you so we're just gonna now this is the instant structure one uh, also this block lingering um and if you click through this there's like a few other things um but literally instant structures is amazing so you're just gonna place the inst instant structures thing down and you're just gonna right click it like that and it simply destroys everything around it that's in its path that's getting in its way and it just makes a house because i know it kind of takes the fun out of building stuff in minecraft but like it's so fun though it's insane to see how many of these things there are you have to choose between them but what you do if you don't like a structure it's like getting in the way or it's, it screws something up just go to um structure removers and remove the latest place structure and then that will deal with it you just go ahead and place it on the top and it just goes ahead and destroys all of it so that's pretty useful all the trees are back hey guys thank you so much for watching go ahead and do all of these things subscribe like comment share whatever yeah <laughs> and go ahead and smile today i hope you enjoyed this and if you have like any questions or something leave it down in the comments and maybe i can make a video about it um or trying to solve it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy your new mods i will post new videos on like exploring the mods because they are insane but yeah, I hope you guys really like this video. I will see you all later. Bye!